Look, Rick, it's finally here. Hello, humans, and welcome to Atlas Mega 10 Mondays. It's that time again when we discuss all things Atlas and all things Shin Megami Tensei and everything else in between in the Atlas universe. So sit back, relax, and let's see what we're going to talk about today in the Atlas Mega 10 universe. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. On today's episode, Atlas Mega 10 Monday that we're going to do on a Tuesday, and that is because it, this came in late. This came in late. It just came in today, actually. They had it yesterday, but GameStop made me wait. And uh, this is, you know, the game that I was thinking about getting, and I was hemming and hawing, and I finally decided to, to get it um, just because it's an Atlas game. You know, and I collect Atlas games. Just trying to be careful with the packaging here. 13 Sentinels. Now, I'm not crazy about the combat system on this game, but I just wanted to share with you guys what you got in packaging in case you decide to buy the game yourself or aren't interested in it. One of the things I do really like about the game is the artwork, of course, just like every other Atlas game pretty much that I get. And, um, and this one's rated T for Teens, and it includes a 36-page art book. So let's unsleeve it here so you can show you guys what you're going to get. So, let's start off with this. Here is your art book. Alright. Look at that, you get a pick of content. And that's page one. Huru Gurabe. First character. Second character is Lori Fuyusaka. Alright, look like little cutouts. You know, this reminds me of the booklets I used to collect as a kid uh, way back in the day. Even though the, the art is newer, this is what cut up books used to look like in the olden days as far as characters. And as far as, um, you know, this reminds me of something that we used to get and we used to buy a bag and in this bag it would have different cutouts of different characters for a particular series that you were buying. And the cutouts were something like this and you would have to get them and paste them on the album like you see here. Um, and man, I have a lot of memories. I was like, uh, say like 10 years old, and every time I had, I would save, uh, this is outside the US, every time I would save a little bit of money, I'd go down to the convenience store and buy these, because they were really, really popular. And then you would fill out your album and, um, you know, share it with your friends and see who, who got what. So I went by the characters here real quick. So it's A Sekigara. And I'm reading from the side here, guys, so just be patient with me. Um, Megumi Yaku Siji. There you go. Keitaro Miura. All right. I thought it would have more designs of the characters, or, you know, the concepts behind them or something like that, but... You know, who knows, when it comes to Atlas, it's things like this that actually become the most collectible, right? <laughs> because nobody ever gets them. Oh, look, this is a little pompadour here. Uh, Devil Summoner style. Nenji Ogata. Tomi Kisaraji. Shu Amiguchi. Oh my gosh, guys. You know, and today... Today wasn't a good day for me, personally. It was a tough day at work, sort of. But, you know, other stresses of life. You know, things that we go through. Especially in this pandemic. And um, time and time and again, you know, I'm able to come back to these... To these games, to these books. To relax myself, to take me back in time, if you will. Um, 
I know this stuff isn't popular anymore and, and, and it's probably not going to come back in any way, shape, or form um, like it was in my youth. And um, But it, it is nice to have, you know, and, and look back and reminisce. And there's things on here that I see, for example, that bring me back. When I used to go to school, the first um, backpack, <laughs> I guess you could call it, it looked like this. It, it was made out of leather, and I would put my books inside of it. Um, and I remember that backpacks were just coming out, but my family was old school, you know, so that's that's what they took to school, so that's what they bought me. When I showed up in there, they were just like, oh, this dude is weird. <laughs> I didn't have a lunchbox either. You know, my lunch was right in there. Um, and, you know, the lunch boxes that started coming out, like the Six Million Dollar Man lunchbox and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's, it's nice to see on there, you know, a little bit of the past. Renya Goto. So these are all teens apparently going to high school and they get in these robots to fight. I've only seen the shorts. I haven't played the game. Nor am I going to play the game anytime soon because... I just have too much on my plate right now, guys. You know, as far as 2020, um, it really just started hitting me right now. So many things have been affected in my life and in my family's life that I think we're just barely feeling now. You know, I mean, we've been trying to cope with it the best way possible, but, you know, there's only so many months of, of this stuff that you can take, and unfortunately, the people in charge here in California at least are not doing a very good job um, of handling the pandemic anyway guys um, and I'm not talking about the sicknesses illnesses I'm just talking in general how our society is working right now but I, I don't want to make a social commentary on it it's just you know it's just what it is right now for us in the area that I'm in so I'm happy that I have these things to you know take my mind off things Oh, well, look at this guy. He reminds me of many, many of the cool anime characters that um, were around when I was growing up. Whenever, it was very <laughs> stereotypical, whenever a guy was cool, he had long hair. Like, you knew he was, like, a bad boy. <laughs> and he was a good-looking one of the series, right? And this guy's name is Takatoshi Nijama. Oh, here we go. First generation Sentinel. All right, so we're looking at robots here. Some a little bit more modern. We got some illustrations there. Nothing too out of the ordinary, I have to say. It's, this is, you know, for for an Atlas art book, I have to say it's, you know, pretty pretty ordinary, and it's what's probably going to make it like super collectible, collectible, I bet you, in, you know, ten years from now, but. Let's see here. Third generation Sentinels. And these are the ones that you battle with. We have a fourth generation Sentinel here. Some sketches on the side. That's pretty cool. And there you go. 13 Sentinels. Ages written. What do we have here? Of course, there is no handle. <laughs> Can you even put it in here? No. <laughs> oh man, modern times, right? Modern times. Well guys, I want to thank you for joining me, uh, staying with the channel during this tough time. Like I said, I've had a couple of setbacks, but you know, I, I made videos that I recorded ahead of time. Those are the ones that you're seeing on Sunday. During the week, it's a little difficult right now with the, with the workload, but I recorded, uh, I've recorded some episodes I just did another pickups video, probably the final hoarding video for the for the year. Um, and yeah, I'll just concentrate on on my current collection for right now. You know, it just feels like the right time to reminisce and be thankful for what you have. And remember, guys, don't forget your blessings out there. Just look at them. These times will pass, even though it might seem eternal sometimes. All right, guys, never be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.
Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.